Good morning. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts and looks like my camera's a little bit crooked. Probably because I filmed my setup for Carol today and I I have kind of jiggled it around with my one-handed moves there trying to trying to film my room. It's a mess, you guys. When you see the video, don't panic. You won't, I will not get lost in here, I swear. But I do need to clean up. I've just been so busy, 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 that I haven't had time to clean up and organize. And I mean, I was, I was working on it, but what the heck, you know? Sometimes we just lose track of everything we're doing. I'm sewing this little booklet together to go into the color makes me happy. Um, sorry about that. Forgot to tell you what I was up to. So, um, anyway, I'll refilm my room after I get things cleaned up. We're looking at uh, some of the IKEA furniture right now, trying to decide if. I want to do that or if I want to have somebody come in and build something that'll work that will work pretty good for me so um, I don't know all of these, uh, there's always decisions isn't there just a lot of them I'm just going to hang that in there I'm not going to put anything in it I do need to round my corners here if I can. Oh, why should I do that? I'm going to cut. I'm cutting corners. Look at that. Ha! There we go. Now they fit in this little book. Okay, a little bit of ink around the edges. And this book will be done. And then we're going to take a look. I use those dots. <laughs> I had them left today. Oh, I'm not done. I still have these guys to make. That's the first one I made. I had to figure out how to get the hole cut in the center. Then I just folded the paper over and cut the hole. That worked just fine. So I'm going to show you where this thing goes and then maybe we'll make one of those. I think it goes, let's see, does it go here? No. I can take that out. I use that to color this in with a stencil. This goes right here. Ooh, it's almost too big. There. Yep, stuck. Oh, hey, I didn't round these corners off. Guess they're staying like that. Um, let's see, I was just finishing up going through and looking at the what I had left to, to do. I um, guess I have something to do right here, don't I? And uh, so anyway, I've been, I guess this is not the end of it today, you guys. Sorry. You have one more day of me and color making me happy. Actually, color does make me happy. And that is why it turned out with so many bright pieces in it. <laughs> it was hard to do, though. Let me tell you, um, it was hard to just grab color and go for it but after I got going on it I found it hard to quit so then I got out all these sparkly pieces and added those and uh, it was fun 
most fun going color. But I do prefer this, I think. But I love lots of color. So it's it wasn't that. It's just... Um, I did have to come back in and distress these guys and, you know, sometimes um, come in and tone down the whites. But um, it's good. You know, it's been a good change. It's been uh, kind of a yummy eye candy kind of change. And uh, just been having fun with it. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, there's one back there, too. Forget where they all are. We'll clip some corners here. I just find they work better in the book if they're clipped and rounded. They don't catch on so many things. They just kind of fit neater in everywhere. Those are done. I think we are just about there. Um, clip some corners. It's the little things now, you know, down towards the end of a journal. It's the little things that get you. It's like, okay, what do I have left? Oh, I have that left. Oh, I got to put ribbons in those. And oh, eyelets and brads. And it's the little stuff that gets you. Um, this is just a You Are Awesome card. And I thought... Whoever gets this needs to know that they are awesome. So, everybody needs an awesome card. When you're feeling low, pull out your awesome card and know that you are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, let's see. My, I am recording, right? You are there, aren't you? <laughs> Am I just talking to myself again? Okay. Um, that just need, need to be in there. This does, but it needs some grunge. And I'm going to leave that one like that. Just because... Just because. No reason. This one. Oh. And let's see. I guess we'll just go around it. it up a bit here and there. We'll just leave it as a nice big writing space back here. I guess that's the one good thing about the plain back paper is you can leave it plain. Didn't do any extras here and there. Oh gosh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the Tim Holtz um, things that I was going to put on here. Hang on to your hats. Hey, where's my page holder downer? <laughs> Hang on to those hats. I think some of these others I've put stuff on already. So, that 
maybe a little difficult to do. But what I'm going to do is cut this right about here. And the first thing I'm going to do is glue it down to the page because I think they need some kind of a background to rest their weary petal heads on. You know, I've been gluey for days. I <laughs> think yesterday I uh, ended up with a glue headache. Wow, it was painful. Okay. Let's see. The towel. And then I need to put just a little bit of glue along here. So we can glue that one down. Maybe right there too. Okay. So. Um, got some of these from Carol. Those don't come out, but they they could actually press up, couldn't they? I'm not really sure, but I'm not going to break them. Uh oh, it's sealed. I left it too long without. Without attention. You know, I hope I am not going to regret using this glue now that I think about applying it to fabric. I see that somebody online had this glue in a fabric glue one, not just this bottle, but it said specifically for fabric glue. And I didn't know that they made one specifically for fabric glue. So that's pretty cool. I suppose that'll dry clear back there. Okay. And then she sent this one. So let's apply it to Every time I run glue down these really thin lines, I think, boy, I'd be terrible on an old logging road. Wouldn't be able to drive next to the edge. I'd drive right off probably. Some of those old roads like that are scary. Going to put these over the others because, you know, that's what plants do. They hide behind each other and in front of each other. They're outstanding. And I think I'll put this one here. Oh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, isn't that beautiful? I just love this one. I have this die too. I think we'll put it right over here. Half on, half off. I like that. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I was working away in here, getting all gluey, and suddenly realized that I had to run to the bank. <laughs> because I needed to turn in paperwork for the Genealogy Society. I was like, oh, come. <laughs> I had this sudden thought, what if the bank's closed today for some reason? Uh oh Then I'm, I'm caught. <laughs> But it was open. Yay. Angela has done the bank stuff that she was supposed to do. Okay, I think I put a folder on that one. Let's see what I did up here. Nothing. Okay, so the red ones are getting the plant life. Ooh! Maybe I'll put it right here. I have some extras here that are um, some that I did. And there's some more in there from Carol. I just have to look and see which ones she gave, gave me. I don't want to take up all my pretty papers in there. But I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> My husband told me that you can watch Netflix like so many times faster than normal. And I said, well, <laughs> Why would you want to do that? <laughs> so, <laughs> so we can watch the movie faster. <laughs> I was like, why the heck would I want to... <laughs> why would I want to watch it faster? I want to know <laughs> what the show's about. <laughs> <laughs> He's a speed reader, so I guess he likes to speed watch TV too. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's probably not so funny to you, but it's funny to me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Was, but I do have to say, I was totally dumbfounded when he said that. It was like, well, why would I do that? And it was like, well, why wouldn't you? You know, we can watch more TV this way or something. <laughs> I'm going to put this one over here because it's red. Or because it's white and this is red. Well, it does kind of show up there. I'm going to put it there. Okay, fine. You're going there. Oh, oh boy. <sighs> oh my goodness. Now my nose is running because I was laughing so much. I laughed so much I put tears in my eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, get in there. Oh, yeah. Very pretty. What a good idea. You know, and these are so simple and, and easy to make. And, uh, I mean, it's just... You pay for the dye, and then you use it over and over again. And I make, usually, you know, I have quite a few of them, but I do use them. I need to have a day where I do like Tina and do a mask making of something. 
Although I do have a lot of, you know, extra goodies up there. But seeing how people put together their instants makes, um, you know, Hang on a second. I gotta blow my nose. Oh, just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Seeing how people make um, their journals by using the instant um, stuff that they already have made, you know, it's like, wow. It, it can make things so fast that way. You know, like, um, I noticed today on Gail Augustinelli that she even had um, pages ready to go. Some in the works, some that were ready. You know, and I thought, oh, that's so cool. That's what I need to do so that I can work just a little quicker on a journal. And... Then the other thing I notice is a lot of the journal makers don't make these big fat ones like this. They make um, small ones that they can sell quickly and mail quickly. And, uh, you know, when you do them like this, they get expensive to mail, of course. And... Uh, Okay, we'll set that one in there. Um, this one weighs about eight pounds, I think. I'll weigh it. I'll let you know. Well, you'll get to know when we do the drawing for it. Um, I just hope nobody draws from South Africa because last time I mailed to South Africa, it cost me Oh, what was it? $85? $145 to mail the journal? The stuff over? The prize? And um, she never got it. She said I could, if I could mail it by DHL, it would get there. Well, I couldn't afford to. That was over $300. But, you know, that was a couple Christmases ago, before COVID. And, uh, I just, it was the last, um, I think it was one of the last drawings I did because I was so discouraged about it. You know. So, anyway, I'll ship overseas if it's not too expensive. Okay, so there's that one. And now what do we have to do? Okay. So, these guys. I just put a sticker butterfly in here. I thought it looked okay that way. But we need a way to hang them. Could it hang off of that? I don't know. Let me get a bulb pin. That's not them. Let's see, are they in here? No bulb pins in there. Maybe they're here. might work. Not sure I'm comfortable with it though. 
Yeah, it'll just ruin the edge. I don't want to do that. So, how can we do that? Oh man, I should have made it as an attachment. That would have been very cool. Well, I know how to do it. Hold your ponies! We need a punch. We need a strong piece of paper. Strong. Like that strong, but not that one. Yeah. One of those would work. Not that one. One of these. Mm. Can't use this because I put this in it. Oh, hey, this one's strong. Okay. So, let's put this in there. And then, oh, I still have these cards. This is nice and strong. It says, oh, happy day. And we need a little hole punch. It would be one of these. And we'll put it right over here on the end. Just like that. And we will put this on and then we will put the brad in it. Because if I put the brad in now, well, I could put it through just that piece, couldn't I? But I really want to hold it all together very strong. Okay. Yeah, this turned out to be a very strong page with a um, vellum. I ended up covering the um, old Sears catalog paper with a full casing of vellum on both sides because it was um, it was just too too weak to hold its own. So. I didn't want it to get, I didn't want it to have an owie. Okay, so maybe we don't have to put a brad in there. Yeah, I think we do have to put a brad in there. An eyelet, sorry. see. Color makes me happy. Here comes some color. And then, oh, we probably better put a pink one in the, the pink part. There. Okay, let me take this out. Pink here. There we go. And, ow, I just stuck myself. I'm going to flip this around a little bit. Put the glue up there. I'm going to put that in there. If I possibly can. This is a different brand, so it's probably not going to 
splay out like I want it to. Oh, it did okay. Now to see if this will actually go in there. I always put them in upside down. Ouch. <laughs> Slow down, girl. Okay. There we go. There's one. Now what I like to do, and I know you guys have heard me say this a bazillion times, is I love to um, put a little glue on this part right here because it's so sharp and I don't want it to come open like if a kid was to get a hold of the book or something and so I just glob a glue in there I glob in the glue and then it kind of just ends up gluing itself right into the eyelet There we go. Cool, huh? Very cool. Thank you for sending those. Those are really neat. I saved one for myself. So let's make another one. We'll put it somewhere. We don't know where, but we'll, we'll do it. I don't know if I'll get all three in there. Okay, so what I did was cut these out that Carol had sent. And I went ahead and hole punched them because I needed to figure them out a little bit. And then I found a piece of paper that I really liked that I thought would work. Um, I have a whole bunch of this. Um, oh, why not? Oh, hey, look here, I have this. Let's use that, it's already cut out. Okay, I think it, my hole punch will punch through it. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it might be too thick. Am I out of camera shot? Shame on me. Okay, so it's approximate here where the circle has to be cut out. Did I already do that part? Okay. It's hard to see there, I know. Cut this part out. Sorry, butterfly. Did not mean to hurt you. Don't have a line right there. Oh, I see it goes right through the middle of the butterfly. Sorry. Oh my. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, little butterfly. Don't you just hate to cut through the butterflies and stuff? Now what I did, first I folded this in half, like this. See? And then I evened up all this because I kind of felt like I should. And there. 
Isn't it funny? Sometimes the littlest thing can drive you up the wall. Okay. Then I took this piece, I opened it, and I folded it right to the center line. And that gave me half of a whole punch. Watch this. Is. So I kind of lined that up in there the best as I could. And it won't cut. So I twisted it just a little bit until it finally cut. It did leave a line in the paper, which I didn't like. But you just kind of rub it out and it goes kind of away. Now you can either make it see through like I did the other one, or you can leave it like this and just put something in there. So what should we do? We should put a hole in the back because we drew it. Yep, I agree. Really, I didn't need to bend that as bad as I bent it. When you're turning that, don't let all the way up on your paper. Because if you do, you'll lose your cutting line. Then you have to start all over. Okay, then I came through and I erased all these lines. And they're pretty close on matching up. So that was good. Then I got my... Oh, it's right here. I use this acetate cake colors. You can see it will last the rest of my life on this stuff. And I just kind of cut it down to fit inside of here. I'm going to put one there. One's going to go over there, and the other one's going to go over here, as long as I made it so it'll fit. It doesn't really need to be that tall. And then I used the Fabri-Tac. And now, if you don't want to get glue on the front of your um, acetate, whoops, <laughs> don't leave your acetate down there for it to get glued, for one. And then your other piece of acetate is going to go over here. You do want to get it kind of, you know, close to the circle, but you don't want it to be so um, juicy that it flows inward into your picture frame. I kind of want to even it out a little bit. Okay. So there's that and that. Now I need something in there. Before I just used a sticker. But I think this time I might use well, maybe I will get a sticker. Hang on. Let me grab one. Let's see. If 
I can find the butterflies again. I just use these and um, oh he's an unhappy butterfly. He makes me sad. Let's see. He's kind of big. Let's go with flowers this time. There we go. When you hold them up to the light, you can actually see through them really well. So it wasn't too bad for a see-through window. Okay, I'm going to just fold that over. There's my rack. Right. Not too bad. And you can't see that with the light the way it is, but when the light shines through it, it looks just like this side. So that's pretty cool. I did, I did like that about it. It's a pretty cool pocket. Um, a pocket. It's a pretty cool tag. I suppose you could make it into a shaker or whatever. Whatever you wanted. But we're making it into... Um... We're making it into a slide type thing, a specimen, kind of a hanging specimen thing. Put those back there. Okay, so we need a doodad to go in there, don't we? Did I turn this back on? Okay, I am recording. Going to go dark purple this time. There we go. And then, hang on. We are going to, since we have this right here, we're going to make our next one out of this. And this is going to go wrong one, right about there, and we got to find a page. I didn't want a copper one. Hang on. On the purple one. Okay. So we have one there and one. Oh, I think I think we could put it right here on this music sheet because I've reinforced that a bit. This one is reinforced, so it could go there. It could also hang off of here. Let's see. I think could hang off of there, but not very well. Oh, hey, we have this page. We 
We'll put this one. Should we put it up here too? I don't like it there. I'm going here. No, that's too far in. We'll go ahead and go right here. Well, that one's a little bit crooked there, guys, but I can't get it off because that glue attaches fast. Okay. Need to put that in there. Sorry if I'm out of camera a little bit. I'm just trying to struggle with it in my own way <laughs> without getting my nose in the camera. There we go. Look at that. We did it. Okay. And oh. Now I should have put a little charm on there with it. But I didn't. Um, no, I don't think I will. I think we'll just do it this way. Oh, I did get it to hook this way. I'm surprised. Okay. I'm calling the glue police. Couldn't find my glue. Wrap a little bit around there. And it inside. Cool. So there we go. We've got two of them. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is so fat. I'm sorry. I cannot add another tag to this baby. I might have to take some out. Look at that. Isn't it a beauty? Wow. It's a beauty. I might have to go around some of this with um, I don't think I'm going to get any more things inside here, you guys. Um, I do have I had this hooked on here, just hanging down, could hang up, that's okay, Give it, it could have a hang up, kind of like a hiccup, then I need some little doodads on here, um, what if, I don't know how this would work. That wouldn't work. Never mind. That won't work. Um, okay, let's see what I have. Gold charms and focals. Bifocals. No, no bifocals. 
There is a word, a door. Um, <laughs> just, I'm a little afraid of making it much heavier. There's a heart. Dragonfly, rose, lovebirds. Oh, here's a balloon. Balloon is good. Okay. So, coming back to here. Let's tie on a balloon. And I am just going to tie them on here, you guys. Just like that. And I'm just going to hope they hold. Again, if we want, we can toss them up to the top of the journal. There we go. Oh, I already cut this one off. Here is a flower. We can tuck it right in here if we want to. And then it's a nice little surprise. And whoever gets this, I'm sure that they will be adorable. And if they don't think they are adorable, now they'll definitely know they are because it says so right here. So you are adorable, whoever you are in the universe that this is coming to. And then we have just one more. Let's Touch a dragonfly. Okay, so the video after this one will probably be the walkthrough and the giveaway announcement. It is a big, chunky one, and I'll have it weighed so we'll know how much it weighs. It'll probably get mailed out in a... Um, if they still have them. I heard they were going to quit the post office doing the... Um, shipping boxes that you know prepaid you pay for the box and it ships up to so many pounds for that price I can't remember what those boxes are called but anyway okay so we are done adding things to the journal I don't like that up there I'm going to bring it back down so, 
we will have a walk through on this next time and then um, we might do the we might do the walkthrough and the giveaway separate but I'll come back tomorrow with a walkthrough okay all right because it's a big one look at that you want to see how wide it is okay let's squish it together I'm glad I went with a soft cover right there at the opening at the big part here it's four and a half inches if I let it go it'll open up to a ten and a half so it's a big big journal wow somebody's gonna have to train this journal to stay in place don't you think look at all that pretty fabric in there I never did get anything hooked to these but that's something the new owner can do they can move things around and take things out if it didn't have all of the um, pockets in it that it does it would not be this fat it's the pockets that make it fat so anyway when we come back we'll go over the tassel and the dream and all that stuff and why I had to do these differently and okay well thanks for hanging out with me sorry if I got out of camera so much I was really struggling with parts of it trying to get it to keep it tame enough to work with I'll talk to you later bye